Hi everybody, I am Jason, that is Brett, and on this episode of Brett's Brick Builds, we've got a kit all the way back from 1985, so would that be 38 years ago? 38 years ago, 38 year old kit. It is kit number 6682, Cement Mixer, and we have in our possession, in our little paws, we have complete instructions, original paper instructions for this kit in what I would call not mint, but excellent shape. I mean, you can tell they've been used, but they're not torn up. They're not taped. Uh, very nice set of instructions with this kit. What were you doing in 1985, Brett? Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Oh. Uh, you want to go ahead and get into this one and see if we can... Yeah, all right. Now this um, kit, it's a cement mixer, but it's got an articulation in the middle of it. And it might just be, again, uh, we're in the States here, so it's maybe a normal thing for uh, European, other parts of the world, but I don't think I've ever seen an articulated dump truck anywhere. Um, I mean, uh, cement mixer slash dump truck, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know I wanted to get this kit, this kit when I was a, a wee little shaver, but I could never find it anywhere. So when this one came up, I was like, oh yeah, we're getting that. At the time, we got the standard mini face, uh, standard, uh, try that again with words, but the standard mini figure with the smiley face. It's got the hat, it's got the standard overalls with the single pocket on the chest. This here so you folks can maybe get a better look at him. I know we're fighting our lighting system right now, but I'll try to lighten this up in post and see him a little better. It's got black, black lower, white and black torso. There's no printing on the back. Uh, he's got that standard used forever hard hat and just the smiley face uh, reaction or uh, facial expression. So let's go ahead here. So I've adjusted them out of my normal chair either. It, it's a whole operation, folks. It's a, a whole operation is in shambles. But that's not going to stop us from making content. We're making content. So the first thing we've got is the middle piece popping together there. I do apologize for the seemingly never-ending dog barking that's going on. Uh, can't do much about that. That way, different areas of the house, we're picking up different ambient noise of the neighborhood. So it's an experience you can all enjoy with us. That one by three block going here, or two by three block going there. And we've got the old style axles, uh, metal axle with the big wheels on it for the big truck type. Now this kit I'm pretty sure has been played with some. It's got, I can tell some pieces have been like uh, replaced with newer pieces. Some are darker, some are lighter, but uh, it should be a complete complete kit here. And uh, I felt like it was worth the, worth the bid and the buy on the Bay of E. So we went with it and I think, I think it was a good decision. These guys, make sure I got that right. I think I do. And this is the, the early days of Lego when you didn't get as much, there was much more taking place on each step, so you didn't get as much of a clue if something was off a bit or not. So we will continue on as if we know what we're doing, which in life can actually get you pretty far. A lot of times if you just make it look like you know what's going on, you'll be fine. Sub assembly here, rear lighting setup. It looks like so. I've got a two by two, a couple of what I call the knuckle, knuckle pieces. They're in there because they're going to have the rear brake lights on them. You know how we're, you know, rear brake lights kind of redundant. You know, so I'm not 
where I know of having front brake lights. You ever heard of front brake lights, Brett? Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Yeah. So that will go right there. Then we have two blue one by twos popping together and going here on the front fender. And we kind of got the cab cab going here. Some more blue one by twos. Almost popped the, the fender off when I did that. Come here. Front, front of the assembly. Make sure I'm not missing a step here. As, as I said, these older kits, there was a lot more going on. Back in the day, there was a lot more going on per step than there is now. So. I think that's right. Yeah, I think no, is there one upside or not? Yes, there is. I think there is. So you could pour your cement. Either side. Oh, I see. Okay, that was me. That's on me. You can only go off the one side, apparently. Here. Set those there. We should have a. I'm struggling a little, Brett. I'm struggling a little. Steering wheel going here. We have the grill piece going into position. that center knuckle that's been kind of wanting to move when I push that on it stays in the position. We have another two by two white there. And we have two headlights. Which on. once you got a motorcycle with two headlights is pretty normal. Here, 
really it should only be on the one side, but I can fix that with another piece here. on another. All I need is a one by two blue block for the opposing side because well we've got the handle on this side this side should just be flat but there's another they did another switcheroo with the handle on the opposing side that's not a big deal. And what do we have here? We have the fender and we've got Other three prong in the back. There we go. We're going to go here. This is going here. Let's on it just for a moment. Another one by two with a 45 degree angle on it. for the mixer. And we're going blue first. Throw a blue round. That's white, not blue, Jason. Yeah, Brett, you gotta, you gotta keep an eye on this guy. White posing, so we're we're uh, crossing our uh, what do you want to say our seam there, and then we have the blue conical. So we turn this over, and on this step, got the smokestack there. I think what are the smokestacks going there? And this piece is going to move that back. One stud. Exhaust pipe, windshield, which is a touch yellowed. Yellowed as my voice cracks. Yellowed, not terribly, but uh, somewhat yellow. These are both very loose. They're not coming off, but they don't have much clutch at all. You just lift them almost right off of there. Interesting. I wonder if the headlight ones are tighter, maybe. Oh, not much difference. Must have been the end of a mold's life, is all I can guess. I forget how many moldings they get out before it becomes that they have to be replaced. Put our driver in place, close the cab. Then we have, what we have here is our cement. These little gray pieces. Right here, put them in the back. So we've got our truck set up there from the front. And then what we do is give our figure here. He gets out over here. It's got a control handle. It hits the control handle. And, uh, it's spinning here. And then when it's time to pour the, the cement, it hits his handle, takes it up, dumps them on out. And that is the build. It's a little loose, hardly any clutch on the 
the lights on the roof. I mean, they almost come right off of there. And it's, it's on all of them too, so I don't know if it's that the studs are small, because they fit really good on the head. Well, they're a little loose on the headlight too, so I'm gonna say maybe these uh, one by one squares, the translucent yellows are a little worn out, or maybe they were a little loose from the factory. But I think that would be my only complaint on it. Let's see if I can find some more that might fit tighter. And then I've got where I gotta switch out that other handle here. That should just be a one by two piece on that side. But that's a minor thing. I know I've got some of those in my Lego bag that'll fix it. But in the meantime, it's a build I always wanted when I was a kid. Couldn't find it anywhere. Apparently, because it was one that sold kind of well or was popular, or I just was at Toys R Us at the wrong time, back when Toys R Us existed. But, uh, what do you think, Brett? Yeah, this is one. I don't think they've done uh, many cement trucks. I mean, I could be mistaken. I don't know if they've done many cement trucks as far as public works, so maybe they'll, maybe time to bring them back. And again, the articulation in the middle, I mean, that's a European thing. I don't think I've ever seen it actually here in the States. In the States, most of them now, they've got the, the long conical turning part comes like here and then they dump them off over the front or the back out of them. But uh, for the time period, I guess I guess that's what they, they I guess that's what they had. Um, that was kit number 6682 cement truck or cement mixer. One minifigure from 1985. If you could We'd appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button for us. Uh, the more uh, subscribers we got, it helps out. Um, it comes to subscribing, if you've got a YouTube channel uh, and you go ahead and subscribe and you got it open where we can see you, Brett and I do our best to always subscribe back. So if you're trying to get something going, you know, help us out, we'll help you out. We subscribe to uh, pretty much anybody that subscribes to us that has a public thing where we can see who they're subs subscribing to. So, on behalf of myself and Brett, I want to thank you for stopping by with this classic build, and we will see you next time.